Hello guys, this is Project Lemon, and welcome to another Blacklight Retribution video, but this video is actually a little bit different. This is actually going to be some post-commentary, so I've just recorded a uh, little gameplay, or well, not a clip, it's a full match of gameplay. Here I fail horribly, I just don't really have to really killing that person. And then uh, I should be paying attention because two people actually came and killed me there. But, uh, yeah, this is post commentary. I took a match, like a full, just normal match, but I didn't commentate over it, and now I'm commentating it over it. I'm commentating over it now, so I think this will work a lot better because I seem to lose my train of thought and get distracted a lot in live commentary, so I think this is going to work a lot better. Uh, I'm actually using the default assault rifle and a uh, 225 build. The reason I don't do very well in this match is, I mean, I do go positive, so I guess I do fine, but I don't do very well because this is actually a game that I've never used before. It's uh, the uh, Fox Plus Cat SR7 helmet, that's the one that pretty much everybody has right now for some reason. I used the uh, last chest piece of the helmet as well, um, which I used the Piranha Legs. Oh, and here's just some really bad shot game. Uh, if you want to emulate, like, the shotgun aim, do not follow that at all. I don't know what I was doing, I just, I, I had a stroke or something there and was just firing randomly, hoping to kill him. That's what you do with the machine pistol. The machine pistol is really just not, I can't respect the machine pistol. No strategy involved with that weapon. At least with the shotgun you have to aim. So I'm just coming up behind people. I'm kind of disappointed because this match I just ended up killing a lot of low level people, as in like people who haven't been playing the game as long as me. So I didn't, once again, I didn't get the things. I wish I had done a lot better. But there is one uh, high level person who's actually higher level than me. Yeah, this is the guy. I got him at low health. One time I got him at 5 health, and the other like was 8 health. And the only reason he ever killed me those two times was because I got, like, severely injured by a grenade. Both times. So, that's pretty annoying, but oh well, what can you do? Um, I've actually been using the Breach Hammer quite a lot. You don't see me use it at all in this video, I don't think. I had an opportunity to get it okay, there's me walking into a grenade, but so fine. And see, like, Alright, well, I got him kind of low that time. If I had shot him two more times, he would have died. So if I didn't walk into that grenade, I mean, that was completely my fault, so I'm not blaming anybody. But if I didn't walk into that grenade, then I would have gotten the kill easily. But I've been using the Breach Hammer a lot. I'll make a video on that. Uh, it's a really good melee weapon. Really good for just sneaking up on people. It doesn't give them a chance to turn around, because, I mean, it is an instant kill. Uh, it's actually good. If you catch somebody by surprise, it can still be good. Um, just charging at them. It's good on speed builds, but speed builds are hard to play, but that's another rant for another time. So, I'm going to speed builds a lot, and just decides to not like me at all, so, eh, oh well. Because some of them are in the middle of the shots connected, that was really strange. But I still got the kill, so once again, not too bad, but at least it's a lot of damage. I think I have some like really bad shotgun aim in the, later on in the video. I was coming up behind somebody, could have just finished him off with the um, uh, breach hammer, but they ended up turning around because I'm just horrible because they kept me around and I was panicking, so I just wanted to kill them quickly. I don't think I. I don't think I put. Oh, wait, yeah, I get this guy. He's just rifle for some reason. He's a level 3, so I can understand. Combat rifle, you saw my other video, unless you didn't see my other video, in which case go watch it if you're curious about the combat rifle. Pretty horrible weapon. Don't use it ever, 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 ever in your lifetime. And I think I, yeah, I got this guy at really low health, but then somebody else actually took him this time. I think the same thing happens in a sec here. I turn around, try and reload. And he the same thing. Me up here. Oh wait, no, that's a different guy. Huh. When's the other time? Okay, well here's infamous. He's gonna AK me. It's this, it's this guy. I got it really low health. Oh, that AK, such high damage. It's ridiculous. It could use 
It's fine overall, you can just use a damage nerf. Because the damage is really high, it just kills really quickly. It's like a upgraded version of the assault rifle. You no know, weapon in the game should just make another weapon completely obsolete like the AK does. That's just kind of annoying, it's useless. Like the AMR is essentially useless. Oh, he's, he's being a jerk with a really pistol. He doesn't <laughs> hit any of those shots, which is pretty sad. But then he comes and just cleans me straight off the ground with a uh, AK, so. Oh well, I can do it. I haven't been using the assault rifle very long. I can I can easily say that it's a very, very good weapon. No longer it has like a. No wonder it has like a cult following. People, uh, I always, when I was first playing Blacklight, I kept saying that how bad the default weapons were, but I guess I was just horrible at the time, and I didn't know how to use anything. I mean, I got really good with the burst fire rifle, actually. In fact, I never bought the burst fire rifle permanently, which was really stupid of me. In fact, I'm saving up to do that now because the new burst fire rifle actually seems really good because you can do this like ridiculous no spread build and it seems really overpowered. And I've stopped using shurikens since my last black white video because shurikens are just I don't hate myself enough to use shurikens. They're just really overpowered and. You don't deserve any kill that you get with the stun trophies. The enemy is essentially helpless. They can't do anything. Uh, it's really, really, really too good. It, like, that makes the stun mine obsolete and the, uh, no, not the shot grenade. The shot grenade is kind of anti-infantry itself. It's like a frag grenade, but just, like, more advanced. Oh, and this guy, uh, tosses a grenade and it... <coughs> Not by luck, I should have known, I should have been aware about grenades, but he just like toss a grenade and kills me. I bet I might have been able to kill him if he actually came up there. There are a lot of might haves in this video, like the same thing happens later on. The same guy tosses a grenade in the same, not in the same place, but it's basically the same thing happens again. Oh, and here's the really bad shotgun aim that I was talking about. This guy, er, well, this female character model, I should say, a tranny, I can't remember. Uh, look at that. Beautiful, right? And that guy, I would say. I, to be honest, it took three people, well, more like two point five, because I don't even count as a whole person in that situation, but it took 2.5 people to kill that one level whatever is still using a 220 build. I think the other guy should be more strong than me, because I mean, he had a fully automatic weapon. He has a submachine gun. Those things are really good in CQC. But somehow he didn't get the kill. But oh well, I'm not blaming him. I mean, if they like came up behind me and he couldn't kill her for whatever reason, then yeah, I would blame him. But nobody died in that. Oh wait, yeah, he did. Never mind. But he deserved it, so. I probably deserved it too, to be honest. Cause I mean, I came up behind her, I should've been able to take her out, like, really easily, but no. Okay, so here's the time I got this guy down to 5 health. Grenades every time. That's why I'm building this for the uh, assault rifle, I'm building it for really low spread. Well, actually, the build that I have is pretty much done. All I need to do is get the jurisdiction barrel, because that thing just annihilates any spread. I think I'm gonna have like 0.16 spread and somehow this person kills me camping in the corner. Wow, so One good. That actually gives you an advantage in this game. It's weird. Like, you think it wouldn't because it has HRV and there are two, two of my bodies are laying right next to each other. That's kind of odd. Bodies take a while to be But, um, yeah, it's gonna have like 0.16 spread and that's that's almost as little as the other And for some reason, my infrared scope refuses to work there, I guess it ran out of batteries or something, because that body was not, or that person wasn't highlighted. I run away from that go. fight, going to, in this game you have to pick your battles, you have to know that you're going to die. 2010 CP, too bad it's 2013. Ah, that actually surprised me. Okay, so I didn't get so close that time. Um, okay, so the match was wrapping up good, because I was running out of things to say.
10 seconds left. We won. But once again, I should have done better. I'm not really proud of this match or anything. I mean, I'm not, like, ashamed. It's not like I went negative. That would just be horrible. Actually, it went... Actually, came in second place. So, anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. If you want to know the Assault Rifle build, just let me know. I, I think I can... I think I know all the parts by heart, so I could probably tell you right off the bat. And here's a good taste of, like, what I... Uh, what I got from the match. Uh, there's my breach hammer. Um, I actually got a fair amount of GP, and I completed a bunch of uh, challenges. I was supposed to get the HRB decoy from a chance pack. It said I got it perm, but I didn't.